Okay, we're doing a continuation of a Paul Robeson here. I decided to go ahead and do the rest on film, but I wanted to split it. Otherwise, it makes just entirely too large a video. Here you can see the root mass, and it's just pot mound, isn't it? A lot of people don't consider that pot mound. They'd like to see the roots wrapping around it several times. That's wrong. This is quite pot mound, actually. But I'd rather it be a little pot mound right now than to have lost even one of them. So all that means is I'm a little more gentle, a little more careful, that is, in breaking them apart. knock away as much dirt as I possibly can before attempting to pull them apart because I know how deeply intertwined they are and here they come sometimes you have to stop pulling on one and pull on something else because as I said they are all interlocked one two we're working in a bright sun, so we don't have much time. Three, four, five, and six. So here goes the first one. I have to go fish for sand here, or soil here, it appears. I tried to get as many of the lumps out as I could earlier. And as I said on the previous flick, that all I put in here Today for this batch, the only amendments used was perlite and sphagnum moss. The rest was pretty rough clay soil. One, I have to move a little more quickly now. I needed to grab that particular one so I could have a freer access to the soil mix. I'm filling these partially at this point so I can get all of them out of the sunlight quickly. When you're doing this and you see these little white roots, those are those are the weeds. That's exactly what you want to rid yourself of. It's not the green that terrifies you, it's the white. All the green does is sits here and it rots and deprives you of nitrogen to an extent. But those white will come back and haunt you in the form of a vicious weed that spreads underground. One more. And we're going to have a nice batch of Paul ropes and then something of around 19 of them. I'll, I'll have to count them to be certain the exact amount. And now I can finish dressing up the the other cups or containers. Having having gotten these seedlings out of the bright sun safely. All that's needed now is to dress them up, water them in, and set them aside. 